Do you feel trapped, stuck in minimum wage, trying to make money, but it doesn't seem to do anything? Well, you're not alone. Let me show you how to escape. I fight to live, I fight to strive, one day I'll have what I want in life. Hello, my name is Exert and welcome to the channel where we cover all things personal finance, including this video, how to build wealth fast. If you enjoy the content and get value out of this video, consider hitting the subscribe button, hitting that bell icon so you stay up to date with all the future videos and never miss out on any future content. As a young person, unfortunately, you have been screwed. You have probably noticed this in your own life, like at school for example, you have to ask the teacher for every little thing you do. Hey sir, can I please go to the toilet? Can you fucking what? You wanna go to the toilet, do you? Eh? No. Sit down and shut the fuck up. You twat. Fucking cannot go to the toilet, little c Okay then. Having set regimen and guidelines in place, are all systems there to mould you into an employee? is to zap away your creativity and so you don't question the system. Think back to when you were younger, for example, in primary school, when they asked you what you want to be when you're older. Most of the time, the answer is like astronaut, princess, cowboy, whatnot. Then you get older and they're much more tame. The idea is, oh, I want to be a banker or I want to be an accountant or I want to work in law. Not as fun as the previous options either. That's part of the system, that's that cute, basically. This is all bad news for us. As a young person, you'll be getting minimum wage at a job. Now, this minimum wage has not changed to keep up with inflation throughout the years, so already, this doesn't seem fair. So what can we actually do about this? Well, one thing you can do is get your free share with Train212 worth all the way up to £100 when you use the link in the description and deposit £1. Also, you get free crypto when you use the BlockFi and Gemini links down below. No, but for real, what can you do? Build cash flow. This is the secret and the fastest way to build wealth. Without cash flow, things like stocks, real estate, and other avenues of making money are pretty much worthless as you won't have substantial cash flow or funds to be able to make these meaningful. Now for some good news. Finally, most people nowadays will have access to Wi-Fi and a laptop. And that is all you really need to do what exactly? build a business of course ah. now chasing money is just like chasing a cat it doesn't work if you compare the richest people like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk to an employee Jeff and Elon had two things in common they found and solved problems if you solve someone's problems you can then monetize the solution and thus create massive wealth as opposed to an employee who's like a gear in the system responsible for the day-to-day -day running of something but they are not actually working towards their own goals, their own business, they are just working for someone else's. So they will not have this wealth as opposed to people like Elon and Jeff Bezos. Once you understand this law and understand how money works, you will realise that people pay for value and they pay for a solution. If you are not providing either of these, you are worthless to people and thus you won't get the money. Once you realise that once you fix a problem or solution, you monetize it, and the cat will then come to you. The money, in our case. Hello, I like money. So look around in the world and see what needs to be solved. It doesn't have to be something massive like solving cancer or curing world hunger. It can be simple. This one company literally bottles air from nice places like the Alps and then sells that to people with poor air quality. Yes, this really exists. Thanks to e-commerce and dropshipping, you don't even need a vast amount of money to start your own business. You can literally start one and run one from the comfort of your bedroom just using a laptop and Wi-Fi. If you don't have access to this, then computers and libraries would also work. It all comes down to how badly you want your dream to work. Once you use that library resource, get a little bit of funding, then you could buy your own laptop. Little steps are the way to success. Okay, so let's rewind and break it down into steps. Okay, step one. So to start with, you will need some sort of cash flow. So you can get this from either a job, you could do flipping items like people do on eBay, just go to like boot sales and sell them on for more. You could do trading if you are knowledgeable about that. There are a lot of avenues of making money nowadays. So that is step one. Just get some cash flow. Step two is to start your business. 
So once you have an idea of what business you want to start, if you found a problem that needs solving, or you can go into the e-commerce space, whatever that might look like for you, just work towards this, find out how to do it, and just build it. And finally, step three is to build your company and then create a brand around that. Once you have that brand, the opportunities open up quite substantially for you. And then from here, it really gets going. The things like stocks, crypto, real estate, all avenues that were too really expensive to get into are now something that you can actually do. You'll have a lot of cash flow coming in through your business if you've grown it properly. You can reinvest that money back into the business to grow more. And you can also put it into stocks, real estate, start up a YouTube channel, anything. Anything that can be monetized, you can do. Compound interest has been called the eighth wonder of the world. However, if you have started off putting your money in stocks, crypto, your money is then turned into what's known as paper money. This money is only valuable and usable if you then sell that stock or crypto. However, this kind of just defeats the purpose of the whole reason you're in stocks and crypto in the first place. You are there to leave it in there so it can build over time. If you, The only way this would be good if you are a swing trader or a day trader, then you can turn this into paper money into liquid money quite fast but for the average person in stocks and crypto then yeah it's kind of not the best option at the start okay so i told you previously to build a business so you can get cash flow a bit easier said than done when you agree that is why i wanted to give you some ideas now and some help so you can get better started on this journey now this will depend a lot on you if you have a skill that you can monetize or if you know how to code then you have a huge advantage. Coding will allow you to create unique and new content and build new things just like how PayPal was created when Elon Musk created that. If you have skills or services you could monetize such as being a musician or being someone's editor, all of these are things you can monetize on platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. Every single person watching this video, including you, yes you, have something they can monetize. For me this was dropshipping with the intention to build a brand and a business around it. Just like you at the start I had no idea what I was doing, I didn't know how to code, I didn't know how to create a website, I didn't know how to find products, I didn't know anything. But that's the beauty of the internet nowadays. You can go and find all the resources you need online to learn how to do these. Things like YouTube, books, webinars, anything, anything you can find that will give you a 1% increase in your knowledge is worth it. You don't need college to learn, it, learn stuff, okay? Everything is available basically for free. Uh, you can learn anything you want for free. It is not a question of learning. So I think colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning. And that is how I'm now able to build a website, find products and sell them. Another great thing to do is to get a credit card. Now, this credit card will allow you to build your credit score, which will then allow you later on when you want to buy a house, for example. This will allow you to get easier loans and make the process a lot more simple. So just buy something on this credit card every month and then pay it off in full on time. By doing this, it shows the banks that you are trustworthy with money that you can pay back on time every time. The best way to make sure you're never late is to set up a automatic subscription on the card say for like audible or if you'll have a shopify store for your business then you can put your monthly payments on your credit card so it's like 10 pound a month and then set up direct debit to that credit card so it pays it off automatically in full every month this means they won't be charged any extra fees any late payments and it'll make sure that the bank knows that you can pay on time and it will build your credit score by doing this okay so now you know the best blueprint for building wealth i suggest you watch this video called step-by-step -step guide how to build wealth to gain a better understanding on the topic and i'll see you in the next video peace out now i must say that everything in this video should not be considered financial advice i'm not financial advisor always do your own research i'm not responsible for any decisions you make
only that you love me.